All right, well, let's alert them then. Got one of them. Now I'm just going to retreat and watch them all get caught in bear traps. This should be good. Uh, wow. Lo and behold, not a single one of them got caught in a bear trap. Well, what was the point of me planting them? I just got my shit rocked. I guess I was expecting the bear traps to be a little bit more powerful than they were. Okay, but I guess I had other plans. I'll so that was pointless then. I'm going to try and make it a straight line. That way, like, they can't What's miss them, but... But still, I don't know. Yeah, right there. What is that fucking thing he's shooting in there? You just... I don't know. Whatever. All right, let's open this back up. The Dragon Elf was definitely a good choice, though. I'm glad I found that. But the only thing I don't know is if they're adding the Dragon Elf back into the game or if they're just putting it there. I know that sounds weird to say, but Modern Warfare 2, I remember, if you did Spec Ops missions, you could get the Dragon Elf, but it wasn't in the game for actual use. And it was just kind of like, what the fuck? Why, why not put it in the game? I don't know. But that's just what I'm worried about. So let's see, we have all these bear traps set up. Maybe I should try and actually sneak in this time. Will that work out, or is that like something that's not really a possibility? Approach and overpower the radio tower. Fuck you, buddy. Hey, buddy. Fuck your shit. Why can't I knife him? Oh, you can't knife him? You gotta shoot him in the head? Are you kidding me? Why can't I? Why, why can't I just slit his throat? You're a right. dead man unless you do exactly Let's see. as I say. Tune the radio to. And he broke the machine. He broke it with his fists. Really? You really think that would work out? Breaking it with your fists? My God. All right. Who are these guys? I say, shut up! Lower your weapon. Those brains out. Do it. God, kill this bastard. Do it, you son of a bitch. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. Hey, wow, he's falling for it. They're putting their weapons down? Really? Is that a child soldier? That's just wrong. Oh my god, he pulled out a grenade. What a dick. What a dick. See, this right here is what I'm talking about. That was non-interactive. None of that fight scene right there, I was not tapping buttons. I thought maybe I was supposed to. I was not tapping buttons, anything. Like, that was a completely non-interactive cutscene. And, like, that was just pointless. I was, like, the whole time, just thinking, like, what, what the fuck am I supposed to be doing here? I don't know. I wish they made those things interactive, because those were always fun. You know what I mean? When you have a guy, like, jumping on top of you, trying to slit your throat, and you gotta push him off or grab the knife from him or whatever. It became really cool, but that just... I don't know. Hey, I'm going in the treehouse. Aha! I'm playing in a tree, motherfuckers! Anything? I guess they're scared. They're scared of my treehouse. Alright, got you. Is that guy trying to snipe me? Okay, well, you're bad. I'm not I'm not much better. I shouldn't be talking. Okay, but why the fuck don't my bear traps work? Like, why give me bear traps if they're not going to work? It's just stupid. Alright. You. Hey, Woods. Oh, so if he's Woods, I'm, Ma I'm Mason. And what the fuck? Well, I killed everyone. What, what was that? Oh, apparently I did not. Oh, fuck you, Woods. Get in the way of my shots some more, please. I beg of you. Oh, fuck, yeah, they're still coming. God dang it. I'm just gonna keep running away. There's no point in fighting them. If the game tells me to run, just run. Don't even bother, because sometimes there are parts in Call of Duty that just keep infinite respawning people until you do the objective. And I'm pretty sure running was the objective in that case. Huh? There we go, now we gotta defend. Now we defend. So that's how it works. You defend, you run, you defend. Okay, well, fuck you, like you're gonna shoot a rocket launcher at me. Kill you before that happens. Uh, can we, can we move out now, Woods? I think I've killed like five of them already. Let's see. Let's try and see what happens if I snipe in. Oh, at least I can get a good shot on them. There you are, buddy. Yeah, I don't know. Overall, the game isn't that difficult. I mean, I'm granted I'm playing on regular mode, you know, so I guess that's not saying much. But by the looks of it, it seems a little bit easier than the other Black Ops or the other Call of Duties because I always play on regular mode, and a lot of times I tend to die a little bit more. So either I mystically got better, or it is a little bit easier of a game. I don't know which one it is. It could it could be either one, but probably I'm gonna guess that there was no magic involved and that this is most likely due to it being easier there's a fucking car really okay well you're dead then asshole hope you feel good about wait a minute I shot a man with a sniper and the entire fucking vehicle flipped over and exploded 
Call of Duty, you are amazing. You are the most traumatic thing I have ever seen. And that is why we cannot have nice things. Holy shit, stop firing rockets at me, dick! Honestly, be a man. Where are you? Uh, fuck you, rocket guy. At least show your face, I know who's fine. I think I got him, finally. Motherfuckers, there are so many rocket guys and they never hit. All they do is blur my vision. Alright, I think we're, I think they're done with the rockets. I right, stand corrected. Oh, there's a guy on the hill up there? I didn't even notice there was a machine gun guy up there. Well, you're dead then. Wait, wait, wait for the fiery explosion. Oh, really? It didn't explode that time? Come on, that's not epic. Don't explode a car, barrel roll it over a fucking waterfall, and the next one is let it, just let Come it on. leave alone and Come not explode it. Come on. Out. Get a little dramatic, why don't you? Alright. No. Hey, looks like we're getting picked up then. Hopefully that thing is with us. No way out. Alrighty. I have the volume turned all the way down so it doesn't interfere with my mic audio as well. But uh, during cutscenes I usually turn it on a little bit. That way I can hear. So if you're wondering, that's why sometimes I may not know exactly what's going on. Hey, the guy's back. Cool. What's his name again? I think it was Savimbi, was it? Uh, at least he's back. Yeah, I'm still wondering what, him, what, what the whole context here is. Oh, fuck. Hudson just got shot. Oh, yeah, yeah, bullshit. He was just, like, starved to death, dehydrated in a container, and he whips out a pistol like a badass. What? No. No, that's not That's not how it works. No. You can't fuck you. Fuck you. Okay, fuck, fuck you, buddy. Your old man. Oh, well, at least we're he's safe, alive. and at least we're going on. Can I push him out? I want to push Runner. him out. Up! Oh, it looks like it's gonna be a cutscene, so I better shut my mouth. It's just like you, kid. Or not? Actually, this is the scene you get when you're quitting, so maybe it's just sending you to loadout screen. Then that'd make a little bit of sense. Yeah, I think I'm just going straight to a loadout screen. Okay, here we go. So, story: Mason rescues Woods. Uh, okay. I guess it's just telling me what I just did. All right, Myanmar 2025. Cool. All right, so let's let's choose our weapon then. Oh, M27 is good. I love the M27. Anything else though? Oh, I got a couple. Let's see, I can still use my old. Oh, okay, so they're still on unlock. Everything you've unlocked. So I saw the AK47, everything like that. Uh, but I love this gun right here. You know, I'm just gonna use. Wait, M was it M27 or the M? I feel like it was M. Oh, the M Tar is the one I love. I don't know what the M27 is. The M Tar is really good though. And my secondary, I get the Titus, a multi-shot explosive fletch fletch launcher. Okay, I kind of like that. I guess I don't really want to launch her too much. Well, if it's recommending it, there must be a reason why. And let's see, we get okay. It's recommending the XM31 grenade. What is that? A wrist fire grenade that'll detonate on target. That actually sounds pretty cool. And then this guy, Fast Hands. I can use Access Kit. Gives you access to otherwise unaccessible parts of the map. Uh, oh, that's why I was able to get the bear traps. Because it gives you access to like weird parts. Or I can just use Fast Hands to switch weapons more quickly. Let's go with that. I don't really have that. Oh, I can use both? Oh, wow. Okay, I'll, I'll do that then. Why the fuck wouldn't I use both? That was a stupid question. Alrighty. Well, we're, apparently we're going to Myanmar 2025. Yes. Okay, so that's what it is. So apparently it is modern day, but we're going to different countries still around Vietnam. Myanmar is right next to Vietnam. So I guess that's what's going on here then. It's just modern day, kind of like Vietnam-esque war. Oops. It's a hand-me-down. The CIA smoked this old man. Old Cyclops is pretty pissed at America. While we're fucking around in the Middle East, the Russians and the Chinese are getting real cozy. Huh. Yeah. Politicians. They want you to think this is about ideology. It's a lot of horse shit. Give me your phone. Go ahead. Rare earth elements. Whole fucking world runs on this shit. <laughs> Who controls all of it? China. Jeez. So while corporate America is kissing China's ass. Now the mysterious Cordis Diaz social network has crowdsourced simultaneous protests in both Iran and North Korea. Never seen in public, who really is the leader of Cordis Diaz? 
He's known only as Odysseus. Odysseus? My ass. <laughs> Raul fucking Menendez. Asshole. I told JSOC, but they were too busy. See, the drone race had started. I mean, really, guys? You're gonna build an entire military based on a mineral element that's wholly controlled by China? I need a drink. Dipshit. No, oh, God. Give me a soda. Get it from the nurse's stash. None of that diet crap. China's premier Chen is outraged by Cortez Diaz's leaked memo, alleging the cyber attack was covertly ordered by the White House. And through all the dirty shit the U.S. government's gotten away with, this time, they're innocent and no one fucking believes them. They take out Cortez Diaz's network. Two days later, the director of the FBI burned alive. Right now, a billion people believe that Raul Menendez is their savior. Shh. Guess what, boys? He's not. You better take him out pretty fucking quick. That shit's gonna happen.